Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how you can save images in TinyDB. So using this, after you save the images in TinyDB, this can be accessed anytime and the image will not get erased. So even if you shut down the mobile, close the app and open it again, the image will not be gone until you uninstall it. So let's see how you can do that. So first let me show you the demo. I am first going to take a picture over here. Next, I'm going to click on this icon and over here you'll be able to see the screenshot, the picture. Next, I'm going to close the app like this and I'm going to open it again. Now you can see that the image or the picture has, you, you'll be able to see it because it has not been erased over here from the mobile. So first we are going to create a simple camera app in MIT App Inventor so that after the picture is taken, we can save it in TinyDB. So let me just bring in a label and by the way this is not only this is not only for uh, the camera component you can save images of anything in tinydb this is just an example so now i'm going to take change the text of this to be camera app i'm going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this to be 30 next we want this to be at the center of screen one so i'm going to put align horizontal to be center next i'm going to bring in a button and let's change the text of this button to be take picture. I'm going to make the font to be bold and let's increase the font size of this to be 20 like this. We are going to bring in an image component where we'll show the picture taken by the camera app and also we will show it when it is saved in tiny TV. So we will fetch the image and show it in this image component. I'm going to put the height and width of this to be fill parent. Next, as I said before, you need the tiny DB component to store the image permanently in the mobile. So for that, let me go to the storage section and I'm going to bring in the tiny DB. Also, we will go to the media section and we are going to bring in the camera component so that we can take the picture. Now let's go to the block section. So when button one, which is the take picture button is clicked, we are going to take a picture using the camera. Next, after the picture is taken, what we will do is we will first show it in this image component. So I'm going to set the image one dot picture to be the image variable over here. So get image. So this will get the image from the camera and it will show it in the image one dot picture. It will show it in the image one component. Now the extra step which we need to do now is to add the tiny DB component so that we can save it in tiny DB. We can store the image in tiny DB. So I'm going to bring in this block called tiny DB one dot store value and the tag for this is going to be image. So let me go over here to the text section and we are going to bring in a string. Let me just type image over here. You can put anything over here as this is the tag. So using the tag you can get the image which is stored in TinyDB and the value to store will be the image. So we will get the image and store it in TinyDB so that it is stored permanently. And then when screen one is initializing, which means they are opening the app again, might be they, they could have closed the app or shut down the mobile and they are opening it again we need to get the image from the tiny db and show it in the image component so first what we will do is we will going to we are going to duplicate this block set image one dot picture and this time we will get the value from the tiny db so let me go over here to the tiny db component and we are going to bring in this block get value as you know the tag is image make sure it is the same tag over here and over here you can just put an empty string like this if the value is not there, if the image is not there. And that's how you set the picture from the tiny DB. You'll get the value from the tag. So over here you can see the camera app. First, let me take the picture and let's see if it is getting stored in tiny DB. So I'm going to click on take picture and I'm going to take the picture of the keyboard. Next, you'll be able to see two options. I'm going to click on this icon and over here you'll be able to see the picture in the camera app. Now I'm going to close the app like this and let me open it again. Now over here you can see that the image has not gone because it is saved in TinyDB and it will stay over here permanently. Next, do you want to learn more about TinyDB and how you can store data in MIT App Inventor? Watch this video and also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor over here.